uh, Mohamed Marandi is Professor of North American Studies and Dean of the Faculty of World Studies at the University of Tehran. So Mohamed, the floor is yours, about seven to 10 minutes, please. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Of course, I'm not the dean anymore. I was dean in the past, so I'm uh, I'm just a, a, a teacher at the University of Tehran. Um, I think that there are a, a number of things that I should point out. Although maybe my good friends and colleagues who spoke and before me have covered these issues, so if I'm repeating others, then I I sincerely apologize. Uh, I was in a meeting before this, so I again I apologize for my delay. Uh, I think one thing that has to be taken into account is that what we're seeing today in Afghanistan or what we saw in Syria or in Iraq, the extremism that we call ISIS or Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda or even the Taliban, the history of the Taliban, this is a result of US policy itself. The United States, along with its allies, created this menace in the 1980s in Afghanistan. We all know this. But the reason why I'm saying this is that uh, when you create uh, a problem like Al Qaeda, like ISIS, you cannot manage it. It's not something that you can control and use it against your enemies and then have it suddenly disappear. And so, and also a lot of what we see today as Islamophobia, the irony of course, is that it's not a, an ideology, Al-Qaeda or ISIS or the Taliban, I, I'll get into a bit later, that is, has been indigenous to this part of the world. It was uh, an, the Wahhabism and uh, was a predominantly uh, a Saudi ideology it came from Najd, which is a part of Saudi Arabia. And with US support and Western support and NATO support, it grew. And now ordinary Muslims are antagonized for what is basically a creation of the West. And ironically, Western countries, the Western media, they antagonize countries like Iran and attribute things to Iran that are actually part of the ideology of those groups that they created. So they, the terrorism or extremism that they attribute to Iran, which has a civil society, which has elections, which whether the Western countries like uh, Iran or not, uh, is very different from these entities that Western countries help promote. So that's one issue. The second issue is that the United States, ironically, after occupying Afghanistan and Iraq, they contributed to the defeat of their own occupation by antagonizing Iran and, and creating sanctions. The United States basically prevented Afghanistan and Iraq from normalizing their economies. So the United States acted against its own interests, whether legitimate or otherwise. We consider the occupation as illegitimate. But in any case, the United States as an occupation force, NATO as an occupation force, their actions towards Iran were self-defeating. The United States not only created extremism, NATO not only created extremism that became a problem, but in their foolish attempt, an illegitimate and brutal attempt to defeat this extremism that they created and by occupying these countries, they defeated their own illegitimate occupation by further manipulating these societies in a different way. Before they manipulated them by supporting extremism through the Saudis, through Turkey and others. That, and now they try to manipulate them by preventing them from having a natural relationship with countries neighboring. So the problem is that the United States behaves like an empire. There is no accountability and therefore it is defeating itself. It is its own worst enemy. So it succeeded in hurting its antagonists or its rivals for decades in our part of the world. And it succeeded in destroying much of our region. 
But ultimately what it did is it brought down its own empire, at least in this part of the world, by wasting tens of trillions of dollars, by creating anger and hostility among the local populations, by creating mass waves of refugees, and ultimately gaining nothing in return. So unless the American population, the people recognize that this empire is not only wasting its money, but it's acting in contradiction or in conflict with interests of their own people, but even more important than the American people are Europeans. Because the refugees that... Uh, sorry, uh, Dr. Marandi, we are not getting you. You're breaking up a lot. So if you, if you could, if you please stay and maybe participate as, as you can in the question and answer, that would be great.